In the Homo sapiens' endless search for power and profit, the species has exploited and enslaved by claiming superiority through race or othering lesser members to acquire capital. In the United States, this was done by white men owning black slaves, lynching, voting restrictions, redlining, denying access to capital, and more. It has been done through exporting manufacturing to foreign nations with less labor protections and environmental restrictions, all for the highest profit, by overthrowing governments, installing new regimes, and extracting resources. The capital-holding Homo sapien has engaged in backroom deals, price fixing, bribing, lying, killing, stealing, cheating, all to acquire more capital. The working Homo sapien has engaged in backroom deals, price fixing, bribing, lying, killing, stealing, and cheating, all to survive. Species to species exploitation is just one damage being done. Overfishing leads to food chain collapse, ecosystem damage, algal blooms, water table depletion in the United States and Midwest, mega droughts in California measured by tree rings, battles over the Nile River flow and water usage, Amazon forests burnt for soy, and palm trees harvested for soap. Russian permafrost is thawing, which is cracking pipes, allowing older, frozen pathogens underneath to come forward. The Antarctic ice is melting. The capital-holding Homo sapien has also manipulated and exploited banking and governance. Through corporatism, currency manipulation, balance sheet editing, quantitative easing, embargoes, lobbying, and tariffing, the capital-holding Homo sapien has reduced the planet and their species to zeros and ones on a balance sheet another item to extract profit from. En route to achieving their goal, they have leveraged every piece down to the organ and DNA of their fellow Homo sapien, spinning and stretching them into complex financial instruments to be gambled on and hedged against. The 20th and 21st century capital holding banking sector Homo sapiens have attempted an extraction of wealth, profit, and power in the name of empire on a scale never before recorded in history. Their wanton, reckless ambition is sucking the life force from every species and organism on our beautiful planet. These exploitations and extractions are not sustainable. We live in borders, but are all citizens of the earth. If we do not act on repairing the injustices of the past and preventing exploitation in the future, the consequences are darker than many are willing to conceptualize.